Hi guys, I am here with another clock video, and um, this one is a uh, Emperor Triple Chime uh, Chain Driven uh, Grandfather Clock. Um, this clock actually has some uh, very uh, bad uh, striking problems to it. I'll uh, show you from the uh, inside right here. Uh, this clock has some uh, removable uh, wooden panels so that you can uh, have uh, access to the movement right here. So I'm going to like uh, carefully uh, slip them off and um, place them down here. So I open up this uh, cabinet. When I came here, I had uh, noticed uh, that this uh, clock wasn't uh, wrong. See, the chime weight is uh, fully wound, but the bad thing is that the uh, time and the strike weights are all the way down under there, and they are not hooked up to the uh, chains. Uh, I think you can uh, still swing the pendulum, although um, it doesn't make any uh, ticking noises, and I'm uh, not really so sure if it'll uh, keep swinging back and forth or if it will uh, just stop moving completely. Uh, this clock is not actually made by the Emperor Clock Company. It is uh, made uh, by uh, someone in person. Uh, there's a, a plaque right there. You can open the door up here so you can access the dial. This is a very nice uh, looking uh, dial. Um, yeah, it does have the Emperor logo on it, but but again, this is uh, handmade. I will uh, show you all the uh, chimes right now. Um, let's uh, go over here and uh, take off the uh, other uh, side panel. Mm. Yep, so this is the movement right in uh, here. Uh, eight chime hammers. Set this down right here. Now I'm gonna play all the uh, chimes for you, but there is one problem. At the top of the hour, after it has finished playing the chime, it will not strike whatsoever, so I'll just reach in and uh, manually strike the rods from this side. So, um, it looks like that it's uh, already set on a, uh, it can be a little hard to see there, but it says Westminster, so We'll start with the Westminster Chime. Let's move around over here and so you can look inside here. Okay, so um, it's going to go up to uh, 4 o'clock now, but um, after it has done playing the tune, it will not strike. So again, I'll just do it manually. Okay, so that was the 4 o'clock, and now let's move on to another chime, and uh, that one is uh, Whittington.
All right, the last time is uh, St. Michael's. And there you have it, that was all the chimes. And the pendulum is starting to uh, slow down. Well, this concludes the video of this uh, nice grandfather clock, so stay tuned for future videos.